We'll be announcing the, the, the matches here this evening. We're getting the kids lined up here today. It's been a great day here today. Just want to have a shout out to Lisa Schultz, who's our contributor winner here today. Um, been working here at the Indy Invite for many, many, many years. So thanks again to Lisa. Also, a special thanks out to Barry Schmidt. Uh, who has been doing this for many, many years, 33 years. Uh, I uh, personally had the chance of wrestling in the very first uh, Indy Invite here, so been involved in this for many, many years. But uh, big shout out to Bari. He does an excellent job of putting this uh, awesome crew here together at the 33, 33rd annual Indy Invite here in Independence, Wisconsin. They're going to be announcing the, the first first place uh, matches here, third and fifth. We'll really start here in just a few minutes. Fred Augusta. Augusta, sorry. Uh, Jackson against uh, Jackson Hughes from Alaska. Sorry about that, gentlemen. At 170, Gavin Barger from Independence Gillington versus Ben Peterson from Gelzo, Dora. At 182, Jackson Tramack from Blair Taylor versus Eric Kleinhaus from Whitehall. At 195, Brian Rockstead from Blair Taylor versus Ty Nestead Nottestead from Westby. Drew Bagger. At 220, Drew Brogger from Independence Gelderton versus Brad Neal from Crystal. Jacobo, Mo Jacobo Modina. At uh, heavyweight. From Independence Gilmington, Jacobo Medina versus uh, Ethan Bruner from Grant. Grant. All right, you're done, Ed. Nice job. Do it again. <laughs> okay, we just got the. Uh, the championship matches announced here. Uh, my name is Jamie Back. We're broadcasting live here from the Independence Indy Invite here. We're going to start here. Match, the match, the dark match. 
is Preston Seebecker from no, no. Boston, Seebecker versus Gracie Rimbalski. No. Plymouth. Clump. From Westby. Gracie Rimbalski. Okay. We're live right here. We're going to start out on the 106 pound wrestling here today from the Indian Invite. This is your fifth place, your constellation match. Grace Rimbalski from Independence Gilmington will be taking on. Kylie Klum, a freshman from Westby, Wisconsin here today. So the match is on. Gracie Romerowski, a junior here from Independence Gilmington. Klum, a freshman. <coughs> Gracie had a nice match here with a fall over Whitehall uh, just the other night. Uh, and then Kylie Klum, a freshman from Westby. Record of 14 and 6. Gracie Romerowski uh, is going at right there. Tied up here today. Both up in the neutral position. Great way to start out tonight's matches here from the Indy Penance in the invite. Brawlski takes a shot right here, looking to tie up with Klum. I see Mr. Ed Slusher working the table here today. Thanks for Ed. He's been working here many, many years. So big shout out to Eddie Slusher, uh, working the score tables right here. And Braden Princhinski is our ref here tonight for our consolation match. Okay, so going into the second period, 0-0 after the first match right here. Gracie Rimbalski defers, Klum takes down. Gracie was a sectional qualifier here this year in cross country, so she enjoys track and cribbage. Grace working the, the arm bar right here. Let's see. Both tied up right here. I see Grace's near fall right here. Grace's dad competed here for the Indy Invites. Uh, in 1989, uh, Jake Rimbalski was a state runner-up here with the, the Dream Team. Uh, I was happen, happened to be a, in eighth grade when they made that run. A great season they had right there. Gracie working, at the, the, working on breaking her down right now. Still 0-0 with a do, uh, buck 16 left here in the 106th fifth place. Ah, Clum with an escape right here. Both neutral right now. one nothing. Clum over Rimbalski at this time. Kyle and Klum enjoys FFA and wrestling right here. Both up in the neutral position right here. In a head tie right here, fighting it off. Rimbalski comes into the day with a 20 and 17 record. The junior from Independence Gilmington. Both wrestlers back to the center of the mat. And a tie up right here. Working to set her up on a shot right here. That is the end of your second period, Clum. Uh, from Westby with a one nothing lead over Gracie Rimbalski. Rimbalski takes the down position here, working to get the escape to tie this up. Rimbalski with a good sit out. Plum working with the half Nelson. She breaks Gracie down to her. Balski works back up to her up position. Another sit out by Rimbalski. Plum putting good steady pressure on Rimbalski right here. 
Kowalski, another sit out. Good control here by Klum. Almost halfway through the third period, wrestlers are off the mat. Kowalski back down. One minute, nine seconds left in the third period here of the 106 pound consolation match here at the Indy Invite. Nice stand up by Rumbalski. Rutz breaks away, off the mat. Good aggression by Rumbalski here. Another good move off the whistle right there. Good switch right there. Kowalski coming around. Kowalski needs to get back up to her base. 50 seconds left. And an excellent fifth place match right here at the Indy Invite. one nothing, Klum over Rumbalski. Twenty-nine seconds left here in the match. Plum working with the half. Working. Fourteen seconds left. Rumbalski working to get off of her back. Two near fall here. Three seconds. Excellent match here at 106 pound at the Indy Invite. Kylie Klum from Westby takes a 4-0 win over Grace Rumbalski. Great match to both wrestlers here. Klum over Rumbalski. Now wrestling at the 113 pound Indian invite right here. Ryan Hawkins from Westby taking on Nolan Thompson of Whitehall. Thompson comes into the match today with an 18 and 11 record. Hawkins from Westby is 13 and 12 here today. Getting the score table set right here on a 113 pound wrestling match right here. Okay, the Mattlers, uh, Thompson's gonna be green. And Hawkins from Westby's gonna be in the red here today. The match started here today. Nice shot by Thompson. Both in the tie up right here. Hawkins in on the deep on the single leg here. Cross face by Thompson from Whitehall. Thompson a junior here from Whitehall High School here today. Ryan Hawkins. Uh, wrestlers off the mat. Ref Gail Pringinski call them both up in the, the up position right here. 33 seconds into the match right here. Setting up. Thompson trying to set up. Goes with the throw. Hawkins had a deep tie. Thompson fights it off nice. Thompson, Hawkins deep, deep on the double right here. Six seconds left in the first period here. Lesser's called off the mat with three seconds to go. Okay, that concludes the 0 0 first period here at the Indy Invite. Thompson from Westby takes the down position. Nolan Thompson on the up. Wrestlers off the bat right here. Thompson puts in the legs from Whitehall. 
working on the breakdown. Still 0 0 0 for the 113 fifth place matches here from the Indy Invite. Head pressure here. Hawkins working over the top. Two <coughs> reversal for Hawkins. Ryan Hawkins Westby takes a 2 0 lead. <coughs> working on the tilt right here. Two back points, two near fall here. Off on top and two red. That makes it a four nothing lead for Ryan Hawkins. Westby over Nolan Thompson of Whitehall. Two points reversal here, four two. Thompson takes Hawkins down to his back, but no near fall. Thompson working on the half. 21 seconds left in the match. Takes Hawkins to his back, but no near fall awarded. Nolan Thompson, a junior from Whitehall High School here today. Working on a single arm bar. That is the end of the second period on the 113 match pound here, going to the third period. Nolan Thompson <coughs> trailing 2-4, great match here in the fifth place consolation match at the end of the invite. Thompson works on the stand-up. Hawkins has a nice mat return. Wrestlers go off the mat here with 142 left in the third period, a 4-2 lead for Ryan Hawkins from Westby. Thompson needs to get an escape or a reversal here. Nice stand up. Great mat return here from Hawkins. Thompson working with the switch. One point escape for Thompson's wrestlers headed to the center of the mat here. 4-3 with a minute 17. Hawkins takes Thompson to his back. And there is your fall. Ryan Hawkins with the fall with a minute nine left in the third period over Nolan Thompson. Now we'll be moving on to the 120 matches. Okay, we're live here for the 120 pound match. Andy Flores from Whitehall taking on Leon Hammond from Shell Lake at the 120 man. Hammond takes Flores to his back, fights back up. Four nothing lead here with 18 seconds left in the first period. Hammond. Works in the opposition, eight seconds left here. The end of your first period right there. Leon Hammond takes a 4-0 lead over Andy Flores, a sophomore from Whitehall, coming in today with a 7-9 record. Liam Hammond is a freshman from Shell Lake here today, 11 and 2. Flores takes a shot. Hammond fights it off. Goes with the throw. Both wrestlers in the up position right here.
Hammond deep on the single leg. Correct that. Flores deep from Whitehall on the single. Works it deep. Goes with the cradle. Flores with a great move takes Hammond to his back. Deep. Great. Fight off of his back there from Hammond. Two reversal. A 6 5 lead for Liam Hammond of Shell Lake. Takes Flores to his back. 50 seconds left. And there's your pin. With 48 seconds remaining in the second period, Leon Hammond of Shell Lake with the fall over Andy Flores. Your uh, fifth place consolation winner at 120 pounds. We'll be moving to the 126 pound matches. Okay, here is your 126. We're just getting on the champions here with the 106 pounds off of uh, Matt. Three right here. And now we're on the 126 pounds. We had an offer tonight here of a pair of freshmen. Braden Grant from Westby is going to be taking on Trey Booz from Shell Lake. Booz coming into the match here today with a 15 and 6. Record and Grant a seven and twenty record. You guys will get your mat swept off here today. Boo's a freshman here from Shell Lake. Okay, ready to roll here at the 126 pound right here. Booz is a full freshman right here. <coughs> and now the start. We run a 1-2-2 two, two match right here in the consolation mats. One minute in the first period, two minutes, second and third. Wrestlers on a tie up right here. Both working for position. Westby goes for the throw. Grant, take Booz to his back, and there's your fall. In 25 seconds in your fifth place match, Westby's Grant Booz is your fifth place winner. Here today in that 126 pounds, Grant Booz. Okay, you can see your 113 pound champions right here. Next up on the consolation match, your 132 is, it, is a Roland Ellison from Clear Lake and racing shockingly from Pittsville for your fifth place right here. Shockley coming in with a record of 18 and 13, a sophomore, and Ellison, a freshman here from Clear Lake with a 12 and 18 record right here. Local favorite Bill Guza officially in the third, fifth place match here at the 2023 in the invite. Shockley is deep in on the single leg, but both wrestlers off the mat in the up position right here. Both workers looking for precision right here. Thirty seconds in, all oh, but it goes with the firemen's right here, deep in on the single leg. Allison fights off with a tied up right here. Potential stalemate coming here with 14, 15 seconds left. Bill Guza calls the steel mail right here. 11 seconds left here in the first period in the 132 palm match. 
Both wrestlers circling nice, going with the tie up. Got the hook from Ellison and Clear Lake. That's the end of your first period. 0 0 match right here on the first period of the 132 pound. Shockley takes the down position right there. The start of the second period here at the Indy Invite. Armbar working right here. Shockley needs to get his hips up here. Not much happening here in both positions right here. 30 seconds into the second period here in the fifth place match. The referee looking for action for both wrestlers as they move to the edge of the mat here. Ellison, both wrestlers off the mat right here. One minute, three seconds left here in the second period with a 0-0 score. Clear Lake on the down position. Fights off the arm bar. Works to get his hips up here. Allison from Clear Lake works the single arm bar in here. Ref making sure it's legal here. 20 seconds left here and then tries to get the half in. Pittsville fighting off the, goes with the re reverse half here. Six seconds. Great match here in the fifth place. It goes to a 0-0 going into the third period here at the Indy Invite. Ellison of Clear Lake takes the down position. Needs to be moving here off the whistle. Nice sit off here from Clear Lake. Ellison with the head tie. Time called right here. Looks like a shoulder, potential shoulder injury here from Grayson Shockley from Pittsville. Trainer comes out. Great shout out to the trainers here today. Uh, trying to keep our wrestlers here safe here at the Indy Invite. They uh, underappreciate it here sometimes and all the work they do behind the scenes with these wrestlers to keep them uh, in good hands here. Can't quite see what the trainer's working on here, but it looks like a potential shoulder injury. Ryan Shockley from Pittsville here was a conference champion at 113 pounds last year. One nothing lead here. Clear Lake leads Plitzville. Grayson stood up. Still looks like he's working on the shoulders here. Looks like he's good to go. Tough young man here from Pittsville. Both wrestlers are going to be in the up position right here. We start the match at a 
minute 50 uh, into the third period right here. one nothing lead. Clear Lake, Roland Ellison. Both wrestlers in the up position here. Looks for the double underhooks. Going for the throw off the mat. one nothing lead. 131 left here in the third period. Nice tie up by both wrestlers, both looking to eye each other up for a shot here, measure up each other. Looking for the throw. Truly nice shot in deep. Allison fights it off, puts the chest crusher in. Pitzel with a two takedown. He's got it tight on the chest crusher. Fifty seconds left. Three near fall. Grayson Shockley from Pittsville takes a five to one lead late here in the third period. Oh, nice grandy here from Roland Ellison. 15 seconds left, goes for the throw, deep. John Lee comes back, the two takedown. Seven seconds left here, seven, two. And there is your champion at 132 pounds here at the fifth place consolation match with a seven, two win. Pittsville, racing, shock, Shockley from Pittsville takes the 7-2 win. Next up will be our 132 pound match. And now up from your Indyvite, Indyvite, your 138 pound match, your fifth place console match. A sophomore, Sam Marsalek from Independence of Gilmington, coming in on a 23 and 16 record. is gonna be wrestling Eau Claire Memorials. Sam, Luke, Beekskma. Sam, a lo local favorite here at the Indy Invite. A sophomore missed his last year's season with a wrist injury. Sam looking real strong here today. Beeksma a sophomore, so a pair of sophomores here at the Indian Invite. Barry Schmidt doing a little bit of uh, computer work to get us going here today. Okay. We're just moving the camera here, that computer work right here. Um, the 138 pound, 138 pound match right here with Sam Marsalek of Independence Gilmington taking on Luke Biesma of Eau Claire Memorial, both sophomores right here. Biesma went in with a thing, Sam counters nice, gets his hips up. Two reversal green from Beesma from Memorial here today. Sam working to get his hips up right here, but uh, got the legs in deep. Beesma with a tie around his leg. Sam working to his base right here. Beesma hits Sam with a cross face. 11 seconds back. Beesma goes with a tilt. Right there, three back points right there. So a uh, four nothing lead, two back points right here. Well, so, Sam, Sam Rosalek, a third place winner here at the in, uh, Whitehall Invitational. It's his first year wrestling right here. Sam, an avid fisherman. 
enjoy his football track. Beeksma rides Sam off the right side. Good movement off of, from Rosalek. Working to knock, get him off the base. Beeksma with the tie, working on the tilt. Good scramble here by Sam Rosalek. Works back to his base. 4 nothing. Beeksma from Memorial over Sam Rosalek. Sam working back to his base right here. Beekman still with the leg ride. Double legs from Beesma. Minute into the second period, Beesma from Eau Claire Memorial with a 4 0 lead over Sam Mersalek of Independence Gilmington. Beeksman with a tight leg ride. Mersalek with a nice turn. Gets his legs back. This needs to get his hips up. There we go, Mersalek coming up with a, get his hips up here for the reversal. 40 seconds left here. Fighting to get his leg off. Mersalek just needs to get his hips up so he can One point red, escape for both of the neutralists in here. 30 seconds left here in the second, 4-1. Mersalek looking to get the takedown right here. Nice shot from Beesma. Mersalek fights it off. Goes with the roll. 10 seconds left, two points. Takedown, Sam Mersalek. Two points. Masalik, nine seconds left here to go in the second period at the Indian Invitational. 3 4. Beeksman leaves Masalik over Independence McGilmington. That is the end of your second period at your 130 pound, 138 pound match here at the Indian Invitational. 3 4 going into the third period. Masalik. Needs the turn, Beeksma. Beeksma takes the down position here. Both brothers are getting set. Breaks him down. Masalik breaks him down nice. Masalik working on the half here. Tries to draw the arm in. Riding the leg, break him down. Beeksma does a nice fight, fighting it off. Masalik with a hard cross face right here. Oh, Masalik gets the arm bar in deep. 30 seconds gone here in the third period. Marsalek working on the cradle. Beeksma fights that off nice. Not much action happening here from your down wrestler right here. Referee Matt Pajinski warns your wrestler. Warning, green. Entering into the last minute here. Marsalek goes for the cradle. Marsalek has it deep. He just needs to bring it back. One minute left here. Masalik takes Beeksman to his back. No back points awarded. 55 seconds left here in the match. Masalik working on the base. Masalik down one. Needs a score. Stalemate right here. Forty-six left, and left here in the third period. Masalik needs to break him down. You gotta turn him. Potentially maybe let him go and try to take him down. Still not much action here from the big duck. Goes with the cradle. Masalik has it deep. Oh, he needs to rock him back. Beeksma fights it off nice. 27 seconds left. Gotta look to maybe potentially let him go. 18 seconds left. Nice mat return. 13 seconds left. On oh, a great match here from Sam Rosalek. 
Luke Biesma from Eau Claire Memorial takes a 4-3 win over your sophomore, Sam Mersalek. Your fifth place winner at the in the in fight, Luke Biesma over Sam Mersalek from Indy Penance. They're just announcing your champions at 126 pounds. Local favorite, Owen Garrick, a third place finish here for the Independence Gilbenton Indies. And now, up at your 145 on your fifth play matches right here, a senior from Pittsville, Easton Delman, <coughs> will be taking on a a freshman here, Jaron Hansen from GET Melrose, here today for your fifth round match. Still, maybe have some mat issues here, to, some computer issues. Okay, looks like we got things to go here. Got the computer issues figured out. Jaron Hansen, a freshman from DET, will be taking on Easton Dulliman from Pittsville. Pitts, uh, Dulliman, a senior, Hansen, a freshman. At your 145 pound fifth place matches here at the Indy 2023 Indy Invite. Dulliman. Deep on a single, takes Hansen down. Two, take down. Dulliman, Hansen. One minute period here. Hansen works to his base. Hansen tries to work in the, the hand control here. Hansen up, working for the reversal. Nice mat return here from Dulliman. And there's your time. End of your first period here at the 145 pound match. Two, nothing. Lead from Easton, Dulliman, Pittsville. Hansen takes up. Both wrestlers up here into the second period. Both up in the new up position right here. Both wrestlers measuring up for a shot here. Anson with an underhook goes in. Hansen deep with the single. Hansen, Dulliman goes for the throw, but Hansen comes up with a two point takedown. Hansen deep working on the power half. Needs to work him down. Dulliman working for the escape here. Both wrestlers off. A minute five left here in the second period. 2-2. Two -two. Tie. Hansen with a good ride here on Dulliman from Pittsville. Freshman taking on a senior here today. Hansen going for the tilt. Thirty seconds left here in the second period at the 145 pound match in the fifth place consolation. Hansen going for the cradle. Reaches back. Gets Hansen, Dulliman gets Hansen in the headlock. 13 seconds left. Hansen trying to fight off his back here. 
Nice work from Jared Hansen from GET Melrose to work off his back there. Late into the second period. That is your end of your second period here at your 145 pound match. 6-2 lead with Easton Dulliman from Pittsville over Jared Hansen of GET. Referee Gail Pringle as he comes in and recorrects the clock here. It's actually a 7-2 lead. Going into the third period here in your consolation match. Dulliman with a nice stand up. Hansen with a great mat return here. Sit out by Dulliman. Great scramble right here. Hansen still in the control. Got to hang on to that leg. Two point reversal makes it 9-2 here. Easton Dulliman of Pittsville over Jared Hansen. Hansen works up to his base. Minute 30, 30 seconds here gone in the third period with a 9 2 lead of Jared over Jared Hansen. Wrestlers working to the edge of the match here, down to a minute left here for Jared Hansen. Needs to make a move here. Dale may call right here. One minute remaining here in the third period of your fifth place match here at the Indy Invite 2023. Hanson with a nice stand up, defended well by Dulliman from Pittsville. Hanson works his base, goes with the Grandy. One escape. Hanson and Grassevier right here goes for the takedown. Tied up. Great move here from Hanson. Makes it three to nine. Hansen's deep in on the single. Keeps fighting right here. Two takedown for Jared Hansen of GET. Hansen lets him go. 30 seconds left right here. Hansen having a great measure tonight. Deep into a first single leg right here. Jared Hansen doing a nice job trying to come back against his senior from Pittsville. 20 seconds left. And Dolman goes for the throw here again. Ties right here. 10 seconds left in the match. 10 5 read. Dulliman over Hansen. Jared Hansen doing a nice job here from GET. Fought off. Goes for a throw right here. And that's the end with Easton Dulliman of Pittsville over Jared Hansen, the freshman from GET Metro. Great match here from both wrestlers right here. But Easton Dilliman will be your fifth place winner from Pittsville over Jared Hansen. And here is your 152 pound fifth place match right here. Takes on Blake Harris of Clear Lake, a sophomore. Takes on Jaden Zimbauer, a junior from Boston. Goes with the throw. Zimbauer with the throw. Harris fights off with a half. Clear Lake deep into the thing. Zimbauer fights that off nice. A 5 2. <laughs> 5 2 lead. Jaden Zimbauer, a junior, with a 19 4 record. And Blake Harris from Clear Lake, also a junior with a 10 and 12 record. Harris fights back up to the top position. There's your end of your first period right there. 5 2 lead. Boston, Jaden Zimbauer leads Blake Harris. Zimbauer defers to Harris. Harris takes the down position. Nice switch here from Clear Lakes. Harris. Zimbauer fights that off. Goes with the tilt. Two 
two points. Reversal from Blake Harris. A lot of scoring here. Into the 7 4 lead. Zimbauer over Harris. Fourth Rensers off to the mat right here. Reset. Like Zimbauer is going to be down. Harris on the top position here. Referee Gail Pajinski gets the wrestler set. Not much movement here off from Zimbauer. Harris deep around the leg. Zimbauer looking for breaks him down nicely from Harris. Puts Harris puts the arm bar in. Got that deep. And there's your fall of Blake Harris from Clear Lake over Jaden Zimbauer into the second period with a pin. Blake Harris, a junior from Clear Lake with your fall, your 152-pound fifth place winner. Okay, we're just finishing up the 130-pound uh, champions here. We're going to be moving to the 160-pound match here, the fifth-place matches here. Going to take on on a junior from Blair Taylor, Ben Lean. Going to be taking on a Royal Sampson Deegan from Royal right here. Deegan, a sophomore with a 16 and 13 record. Ben Lean, a junior with a 13 and 14 record right here. Both wrestlers eyeing each other up for Deegan comes in on Lean on a takedown. Lean fights that off nicely. Lean going for the throw here. Two pretty good powerhouses here at your fifth ass match. Degner takes Lean down. 30 seconds left here in the first period. Working to pull that shoulder in here on Lean. Lean works up nicely to his base. Fights that off nicely. Degner from Royal works his way on the back right here. 10 seconds left here in the first period. Lean going for the sit out. Degner controls him nicely. That's the end of your first period right here. With Samson Degner from Royal with a 2-0 lead over Ben Lean from Blair Taylor. Both wrestlers uh, pick the up position right here. Two minutes left here in the second period. Lean comes in, eyeing him up for a shot. Trying to get the tie right here. Lean circles back into the mat right there. Degner with a nice shot. Bean fight, Lean fights it off nice. Lean working to do a shuck right here. Both wrestlers circling nice. Lean going with the hook. Degner comes up to his base. Wrestlers off the mat right here. 131 left in the second period. Degner from Royal with a 2-0 lead here over Ben Lean from Blair Taylor. Ben Lean is junior. 13 and 3 record. Lean fighting it off of here. Still 2 nothing lead. Degner with a shot. Lean fights it off nicely. Both wrestlers tied up here. Working for position. Lean with the hook. Degner with a shot. Lean fights it off with a nice sprawl. Degner deep on the single. Lean fights it off. Two. Takedown. Samson Degner from Royal. 4 nothing lead. 30 seconds left here in the second period. Lean working to get to his base. Degner from Royal trying to put in the half. Degner fighting. Lean circling around nicely. 20 seconds here to go. 4 nothing lead. Lean Garrett 
Good view. Wrestlers off the mat right here. Ten seconds left in the second period. Lee needs to make a move here to get a couple points here late into the second period. Nice stand up right here from Lean. Good movement off here. Degner follows nicely. That is the end of your second period right here. Samson Degner from Royal with a 4 nothing lead over Ben Lean from Blair Taylor. Ben Lean also in football and track and weightlifting right here. Also sees an avid FFA. Also, Ben has a, got a 3.26 GPA right here. Ben Lean from Blair Taylor. Lean with a stand up right here. The other wrestlers in from the other mat right there from your championship match at 160 pounds. Samson with his hips up. Lean takes. Degner to his back, got it deep. 130 left. Lean's got to get chest to chest. He's got the headlock in tight. Could it possibly be? Just needs to rock his shoulders back right here. Ben Lean takes Samson Degner from Royal to his back. One minute left right here. Ben Lean doing a nice job of keeping Degner on his back. Just needs to hang on. Ben Lean right there. There's your pin. Congratulations to Ben Lean, a junior here from Blair Taylor, taking fifth place at the 2023 Indy Invite right there. Ben Lean from Blair Taylor, your fifth place winner at 160 pounds, Ben Lean. That concludes your last night, but now we're on our 170 pound match here in our fifth place place right here. It takes Brady Kuhn of Alaska against Luke Paulson of Clear Lake. Paulson a senior with a 24 and 10 record. Kuhn coming in from Alaska today with a 14 and 7 record, a junior here today. Looks like the wrestlers are going to get the mat swept off here from the awards preservations. But on Alaska, Kuhn in the red. Clear Lake. Paulson going to be in green here today. Gavin Bregger. Head beat. Paulson. Both wrestlers circle back into the rent. Clear Lake Paulson going with the throw right here. Both wrestlers, wrestlers settle back into the thing. That is the end of your first period right here. 0-0. Brady Coon from on Alaska takes the <coughs> down position right here. Nice stand up here from Kuhn. Paulson counters back. One reversal red. Our official is counting. Nice tie up here. He gets three. Both wrestlers in the up position right here. Kuhn and Paulson. Circling nicely, working on it for a throw or sizing each up for a take up right here. Luke Paulson was second in Barron, third in Shell Lake, fourth at the Northern Badger. 
Paulson, two-time All-Conference from Clear Lake. Brady Coon goes for the Firemen's, countered nicely by Luke Paulson from Clear Lake. One nothing, halfway through the second period right here. Paulson both up here on the upside. Paulson goes for the throw. Kuhn fights that off nicely. Both wrestlers in the up position right here. 20 seconds left here in the second period. Still one nothing. Both wrestlers up. Six seconds left here in the 170 match right here. Kuhn from on Alaska shoots. One nothing. Brady Kuhn over Luke Paulson here going into the third period. Good match here in the fifth place match right here. Nice roll through. Kuhn riding nicely here with the double legs. Got Paulson broke down. Paulson works through his base. Kuhn trying to take down Paulson here. On the ankle, trying to back. Paulson doing a nice job fighting up to his base. Nice roll here from Clear Lake. Takes Kuhn to his back. A minute left right here. There's your fall. Clear Lake, loose Paul, Luke Paulson. Pins Brady Kuhn from Onalaska in your third period. Your champion right here, Brady Kuhn for your fifth place. Uh, Luke Paulson from Clear Lake is your champ, uh, fifth place winner. Moving on to your 182 pounds fifth place matches here at the 2023 Indy Invite. Brings a freshman out of Mauston, Nasita. Eamon Adis wrestling a sophomore out of GET Mel Min, the Titans here today. Hampton Miller is a sophomore coming in with a 2 and 2 record, and Enos Adis. A freshman with a six and ten record here today. Campa Miller of GET takes the red. Enatus is going to be in the green here today. One minute period here in the first. Both wrestlers very aggressive here off the first whistle right there, looking for the tie. Both workers working for position here. 30 seconds left in the first period. Camp or GET going for the underhook right there. Both circling around. Eyeing each other up for a shot right there. Going with the snap. Kind of a half shot here from Camp Miller from GET. Anus goes for the throw. Campa Miller fights it off nicely. Comes round two. We take down here from Campa Miller of GET. That is the end of your first period. Two nothing lead. Here from Max Campa Miller of GET.
Adis of Mawson takes a down position. Max goes in the half. Nice take escape here from Adis. Camp and Miller both up 2-1 early into the second period. Camp and Miller goes with a shot. Nice takedown here from Cantler. Possibly right to his back, but nice strong takedown from Campbell Miller of GET. A sophomore. Your 182 pound match here in your fifth place round here at the Indy Invitational 2023. One escape, nice. From Adis goes back in. Goes for the tilt right here. Camper Miller goes to the tilt, gets the cradle in tight. Camper Miller can get it tight. There is your pin at 182 in your second period. Max Camper Miller of GET with a fall over Eden Anus of Mauston. All right, we're just getting the champions off here from 145 pounds. Next up is 195 pound fifth place matches. We take a pair of seniors here for Mila Mitra from Eau Claire Memorial. Is going to be wrestling Keaton Lane of Thorpe. Both seniors, Lane coming in here with a 12 and 12 record, and Eli Mitra with an 8 and 17 record. Hundred and ninety-five pound Lane goes Matra goes with the throw. Got Lane deep. Got the lock on heavy. Eli Matra from Eau Claire Memorial has Caden Lane a Thorpe. Got it in heavy early into the first pair period here. Second Sparta, second Royal. There is your pin. 18 seconds left at 195 pounds in your fifth playing match right here. Your fifth place champion from Eau Claire Memorial, Eli Matra. <laughs> All right, getting into the 220-pound fifth-place matches here at the Indy Invitational. Sullivan Pollner from Thorpe will be taking on Elijah Peterson of Shell Lake here today and your 220-pound matches. Pollner coming in on a, a sophomore and Peterson Peterson is coming in as a junior. The Thorpe wrestler is going to be in red. And Palmer from Shell Lake is going to be in the green here today. Both parties are into the first period here, going with the tie up. Peterson coming in with a 10 and 15 record here today, with Palmer coming in at 9 and 10. Both boys going for the set up for the throw right here. Peterson from Shell Lake goes for the headlock. Countered nicely by Pauliner. Peterson, two takedown, goes for the cradle. Controls him nicely right here from Peterson. Peterson works in. Short time here left in the first period. And that is the end of your first period. A 2 nothing lead from Shell Lakes. Elijah Peterson. 
both wrestlers the fourth the first shell leg takes top Peterson works on the takedown Palmer does a nice escape here from Thorpe one point on the escape for Palmer from Thorpe Nice tie up here by both wrestlers. 2 1. Shell Lake over Thorpe. Ballner, both ties up. Both wrestlers circle nicely. Both setting up to for a potential throw. <laughs> Palmer goes for the throw. Countered nicely by Peterson for the takedown. Now 4-1 lead. Shell Lake over Thorpe. Peterson working the, on the fall right here. Got it tight, and there's your pin. Your fifth place match goes to Elijah Peterson from Shell Lake. Fifth place consolation match. And your final match here for the consolation match is at your 285 at the Indian Invite right here. Your 285 pound, your heavyweight division right here. The pair of sophomores, you got Pitts and Pittsville's Caden Bellish and Anderson Bakia, another sophomore. Both wrestlers coming in. Caden coming in with a 16 and 10 record and Anderson coming in with a 2 and 6 record right here. This will be your final match here tonight for your consolation matches from your Indy Invitational. Anderson, the sophomore, comes on tied in with a pair of good heavyweights here from Indy Penance. Colton Modino also in the finals here today for the Indies. Anderson with a good time. Both are uh, saying up. Pittsburgh goes for the throw. Anderson scrambles nicely. Two reversal. Anderson scrambles here nicely. Both wrestlers off right here, short time. Blood time here for Anderson. Anderson on blood time here. 195, first through sixth place. First through sixth place. Anderson taking a little blood time right here. End of the first period. Okay, they got Anderson all cleared up here with the blood time. Um, you got six seconds left here in the first period, a two. Nothing. Lead from Pittsville's Biotish. Both brothers right from the bottom position here. That's the end of your first period. Caden Bliss of wins is 2 nothing. The Furs. Anderson takes the down position.
Two nothing lead here. Knight Anderson with a nice sit out. Pittsburgh's Caden works on it. Anderson needs to work up here from his base. Caden gets the arm bar in, works over Anderson. Anderson needs to fight off his back here, roll him through potentially. Short time, two minutes. Second period here, a minute 18 left. And there's your fall. Caden Bosch of Pittsville is your fifth place consolation winner over Anderson, particularly Independence Gilmington.